Never before seen confidential video given to the New York Times reveals shocking details from the war crimes investigation of a Navy SEAL. Members of SEAL Team 7 were interviewed about the accusations against Special Operations Chief Edward Gallagher. He faced nearly a dozen charges, including allegedly murdering a teenage member of ISIS. David Martin has more from the Pentagon. I think he just wants to kill anybody he can. <laughs> Dark testimony from members of SEAL Team 7 paint a chilling picture of violence by their platoon chief. Did he say anything when he did this, or did he just literally pull out a knife and just start stabbing him? He just pulled out a knife and started stabbing him. The evidence obtained by the New York Times was part of a war crimes investigation into Edward Gallagher, a decorated Navy SEAL who was accused of fatally stabbing a young ISIS prisoner. Includes never before seen body cam footage in which you see Gallagher over the limp ISIS fighter's body before the camera is switched off. Did you interpret him as a threat at any point when Gallagher stabbed? I did not. No. Okay. Is there any doubt in your mind that these are war crimes? No. Corey Scott, whose testimony in court was crucial to Gallagher's acquittal, was also interviewed. Did he do anything that could be interpreted as? lunging, attacking Eddie in any way that would just fight. But on the stand and after being given full immunity, Scott took the fall for the boy's death. They tried to frame me as a, uh, a criminal from the get-go. In July, Gallagher was demoted after a military jury convicted him of posing for a photo with the ISIS fighter's corpse. A Navy board also considered stripping Gallagher of his trident pin, symbol of his status as an elite Navy SEAL. They wanted to take his pin away, and I said, no, you're not going to take it away. Last month, President Trump intervened and restored Gallagher's rank. These are tough people, and uh, we're going to protect our war fighters. A move that angered many in the Navy, including former Navy Secretary Richard Spencer, who was ousted after requesting the president not get involved in Gallagher's case. I don't think he really understands the full definition of a war fighter. A war fighter is a profession of arms, and a profession of arms has standards that they have to be held to and they hold themselves to. Gallagher, who just this week met with President Trump at his Mar-a-Lago resort, has repeatedly expressed his gratitude. I don't know how many times I thank the president. He keeps, you know, stepping in and doing the right thing. Gallagher sent out an email calling the statements made in those videos blatant lies. And one of his attorneys said he intends to file a lawsuit against the New York Times. David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon.